Despite UK government claims, we may never really know for sure whether the Kremlin was directly responsible for the poisoning of Russian double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia. I mean, yeah, it goes without saying that going around merrily killing your own citizens in foreign countries without trial is a pretty serious thing to do. ...that this action amounts to an unlawful use of force by the Russian state against the United Kingdom. Yeah. That no attempt to take innocent life on UK soil will go either unsanctioned or unpunished. Yeah, and they should know because they're doing it all the time. I mean, we could all wax lyrical about the Russian media being all ominous and threatening because it throws around words like traitor, but really, what is the difference morally between that and this? Oh, but one is a brown scary person, the other is a nice old chap having dinner with his daughter. Dude betrayed like literally 300 Russian agents. And I'm not in any way condoning his poisoning with a nerve agent, but if you're going to accept money from a foreign power to betray your fellow colleagues, then you're pretty much a soldier, man. State murder without trial, successful or attempted, goes against all of the shiny principles that we pretend to have in our societies. Innocent people get caught up in them, and then innocent people get killed. It could be your daughter having dinner with you, or it could be anyone or anything standing in the blast radius when MI6 trace your cellular phone and drop a drone strike on you. But for the love of God, can we stop trying to take the moral high ground when we are literally as guilty as sin for doing exactly the same thing? Weak, unpopular leaders have seen war or the idea of war as a way to unite their populations behind them since way back before Tsar Nicholas II even pissed the bed for the first time. It's getting old, guys, and eventually it always backfires. 